Kevin and Lisa, you are about to enter into a sacred covenant of law, of love and commitment with one another. Kevin, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? And do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor her and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her so long as you both shall live? I do. Lisa, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the holy covenant of marriage? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him so long as you both shall live? I do. Lisa and Kevin, I've enjoyed getting to know you uh, over these past few, uh, few days, and it's, uh, it's been great. I loved hearing the story of how you met and how your voice drew you to one another, and how your love has grown from that small park not far from your home. You've chosen to exchange vows and share in the giving and receiving of rings. As you pledge your vows to one another under God, will you join your right hands? Lisa. Lisa. I take you now. I take you now. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. To trust you. To trust you. And to cherish you. And to cherish you. I will love you. I will love you. When we are apart. When we are apart. As well as when we are together. As well as when we are together. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. In good times. In good times. And in bad. And in bad. I pledge myself. I pledge myself. To be faithful to you. To be faithful to you. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. Kevin. Kevin. I take you now. I take you now. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. To trust you. To trust you. And to cherish you. And to cherish you. I will love you. I will love you. When we are apart. When we are apart. As well as when we are together. As well as when we are together. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. In good times. In good times. And in bad. And in bad. I pledge myself. I pledge myself. To be faithful to you. To be faithful to you. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. A ring is a fitting symbol. It is, un, it is an unbroken band of unity and completeness. It is made of metal which represents what is permanent, precious, and pure. Your marriage must have that same permanence, that same preciousness, and the same purity, a love which is unmixed and undiluted. Kevin, will you take your ring and place it upon the third finger of Lisa's left hand and repeat this promise after me? With this ring, with this ring, I seal my promise. I seal my promise to be your faithful, to be your faithful and loving husband. And loving husband as God is my witness. As God is my witness. Lisa, will you take your ring and place it upon the third finger of Kevin's left hand and repeat this promise? With this ring, with this ring, I seal my promise. I seal my promise to be your faithful, to be your faithful and loving wife. And loving wife, as God is my witness. As God is my witness. Amen. 
I now, by the authority committed to me by the Lord Jesus Christ as a minister of the gospel and the province of Nova Scotia, pronounce that you are husband and wife. Kevin, you may kiss your bride. some of the beef, you're not sleeping for a week. <laughs> We've lived together for years and become a family. The final step was to seal that in stone. Today, that chapter is closed and the rest of our lives are open before us. Every day, every day is an adventure in the hasty York house, which we would know if we ever got off our games. <laughs> Even though there's not nearly enough bedrooms. <clears throat> <laughs> and we want to thank you both for making that possible, except the last one. <laughs> it's amazing to have other people our age all the time to keep us entertained and to blame for dents in the car that didn't come from mom jumping the curb. <laughs> and although Caleb and I both wish Kevin had better taste in music, <laughs> you two make each other happy and go very well together. I also know that I'm speaking for all of us when I say that we're looking forward to a bright future together and that we love you. instant creation of that sports team that they <laughs> uh, Honor of Fourth Day's not here tonight, Kevin's oldest daughter. But, uh, there is a bunch of them, Joshua and um, Caleb way down there, Ethan and Christian, Noah and Eden. You guys have got a full roster of sports here, and you're all great kids, and so it will be a pleasure to to get new things with you. It was also a pleasure for me yesterday to get to meet uh, Don and Joan, Kevin's mom and dad from St. Catharines. Very nice pleasure yesterday. It's also uh, very nice for me to have my mom here tonight from Glace Bay, Millie Kwan, who, by the way, is going to be turning 92 this year. It's also great to see all the other family and friends of Lisa and Kevin's here to help them celebrate their union. 
it's really, really nice to see you all here, and it's a great function tonight. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Uh, one other side note that I wanted to do as we were thinking about this, and um, I was wondering what we might be an appropriate thing for for their wedding, as soon as that we're not only joining Kevin and Lisa together, we're also joining Cape Breton with the mainland kind of here today. <laughs> I did a little bit of research over the last few days, and I come to find out that both our families share common Irish and Scottish roots. So there's a lot of Celtic blood in the room here tonight. And I thought maybe at that, for, because of that, you may help me, uh, I need my class. I'd like to propose a Celtic toast to Lisa and Kevin. If everybody could join me. The first part is, I'd like to say, may the road rise up. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun always shine on your face. May you live long and be happy as you are today. My daughter and your husband. Congratulations. <laughs> of you, but I am Kevin's little brother. Um, obviously, I was very honored when Kevin asked me to be his best man. Um, the first thought that went through my head was, you don't have very many friends, obviously. Um, I don't really remember too much of our childhood together, probably because we're 10 years apart, or the fact that his head was buried in a book most of the time that I do remember. But I will try my best to tell you a couple of things about my brother. Um, he can eat a box of cookies to himself in about 15 minutes. Um, he's an incredible klutz, as I'm sure some of you will see on the dance floor later. Uh, he has a very dry sense of humor, but uh, he loves to laugh. Um, and he's one of the most selfless people that I know. Um, anybody who's had the pleasure of knowing Kevin uh, knows that he's an amazing father and a role model not only to his boys, but also to myself. Um, Kevin has been an amazing brother, and he has many of the same traits that I've come to know that I now possess as well. So, he is a nerd. I think I am also a nerd. Um, we share a nose, and we both... <laughs> we both hate to smile, as I'm sure the photographers will tell you as well today. Um, he was born serious, as he liked to remind all of us as he was a children, and I think I probably have that trait as well. Um, and he married a beautiful bride, Lisa. You were gorgeous today. Um, yes. I don't really know Lisa all that well. We haven't spent too much time together as we live very far apart. Um, but from the little that I know of Lisa, I know that she was also an incredible role model to her children. Um, and that you guys now have a beautiful family of six. And I do not know how you do it with three dogs, four guinea pigs, a gecko, and whatever else you have when Kevin is not around. <laughs> so, I just want to wish you guys the best of luck from the bottom of my heart. And thank you for letting me be a part of your day. Lisa and Kevin. 
I've known Lisa for around 18 years, I would say, and we became very close with the raising of our three children who were all basically the same age. And we spent a lot of time together over those years, and our children became best friends, as well as cousins, and us became best friends. Lisa is an excellent and devoted mother to her boys and dogs, and she does everything with them, uh, and they are her life. So when she met Kevin through her boys, it was a great fit. Kevin is as devoted to his boys and is now devoted as devoted to Lisa. I love how Kevin looks at her and I can see how happy Kevin makes her. I love how Kevin enjoys giving her attention in public and how Lisa blushes and slaps him in return for this attention. <laughs> I have never met a couple as devoted to their children, their family and friends. Congratulations, Lisa and Kevin. I love you guys. I'll do my best to uh, speak slowly and enunciate, which as many of you know is a problem I have a lot. Um, solve this problem going forward. I uh, married my best friend, who also happens to double as my translator, and it's time we currently to slow down. Um, thank you all for coming to celebrate with Lisa and I and the boys as we continue to combine our families into one great big Brady Bunch. Uh, special thanks to Linda and Amy, Brian and Brad, and to Uncle Jamie for emceeing for us. Thank you all for coming tonight. Thank <laughs> you.